Today we're going to take a look at the B&W Companion OEM fifth wheel trailer hitch with the slider for the Chevrolet and GMC towing prep package and this has a 20,000 pound weight capacity. This is a custom fit part. It is designed to fit the 2016 to 2019 Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra 2500 and 3500 short bed trucks with the factory installed towing prep package. And on a custom fit part like this, I always like to recommend for you to go to our website, use the fit guide, put in your year and model vehicle, and it'll show if this will work for your application. Now this fifth wheel hitch is designed to mount in your truck bed so that you can tow your fifth wheel trailer. As I mentioned, it works with the factory installed fifth wheel towing prep package from Chevrolet and GMC. This one does use the built-in slider, which will provide clearance that's required for your short bed truck to turn safely at slow speeds. It's in the towing position now. When you open it up or when you unlock it, you'll be, it's be able to slide back and give you 12 inches of clearance. And because it the, fits the factory system, it is a rail-free design. So when you do remove this from your truck, it will allow for full access to the truck bed when it is removed. The head on this uses the one inch thick dual jaws. These dual jaws provide a 360 degree jaw to kingpin contact. They will give you less rattle more security than the slide bar jaws. And the latching handle right here, it is a cam action latching handle, helps prevent binding. It's very simple to release even on unlevel terrain. And it is even lockable to secure the trailer hitch, or secure the trailer to the hitch. It comes with this pin and clip that you can remove. <clears throat> and you can see, you can pull that handle back and it'll stay, leave the jaws open. Your king pin will slide in here. When it slides in, it'll push back and rotate your handle up there. The jaws will wrap around your kingpin. The holes line up and you can use the pin and clip or it can be locked. If the poles are large enough, you could put a padlock through there. The padlocks we do sell separately, but then you just clip it and you're all ready to go. <clears throat> the head on this is a fully articulating head. It pivots front to back and this plate here will go side to side. This will help ease hookup, helps limit any chucking. And also there's three different hitch height settings for this. Now hitch height is critical because when you go to tow your fifth wheel, you want it to be as level as possible with your tow vehicle. So this will give you a range of 17 inches, 18 inches, or 19 inches, three different measurements. And hitch height is always measured from the truck bed to the top of the plate here. So basically what happens is on this slider, there's five rows of holes. And on these pivot arms that your head sits on, there's two rows of holes. So you just go up and down three different positions, whichever height you need. <clears throat> also, with those pivot arms, you can gain improved cab clearance. You can get an extra two inches of front to back adjustment by when you attach these on. These pivot arms have a flat side and an angled side. So right now we have it sitting closest to the cab. If you unbolted these pivot arms and flipped them around, it would give you an extra two inches. <clears throat> It also will give you this hitch head sits on the polyurethane bushings, which are right on top of these pivot arms. It'll give you a nice, quiet, rattle-free ride. And to install this, it is a very quick, simple installation because it will drop into the four receiver pucks that are built into your factory underbed rails. All you have to do to install it <coughs> is take this snapper pin out, rotate your handle 90 degrees, and that'll rotate the the tab there at the bottom, and you'll do that on all four corners. You unlock it, open the handles on all four corners. Now it's ready to drop into the underbed rails. You just drop it into the pucks in the bed, and then rotate it back 90 degrees, and that'll rotate that tab and lock it into the factory system. And then just put your pin back through there, clip it, and again, at all four corners you'll do that, and it's all ready to go. So it's very simple to install and very simple to remove. If you notice, it's a nice gray powder-coated steel construction, which is corrosion resistant. This part is made in the USA. A few specs on this, the gross towing weight capacity is 20,000 pounds. Vertical tongue weight capacity is 5,000 pounds. We had mentioned the hitch height can be adjusted 17 inches, 18 inches, or 19 inches. And then the travel on this slider is 12 inches front to back. So what I want to do now is we're going to demonstrate the hitch head, how it operates, and the slider, how it operates. So what we're going to do is I have, here's an example of what a kingpin would look like on your fifth wheel. So basically, again, if we just remove the pin and clip, rotate your handle back, your jaws open. You can see when you just back up and your fifth wheel king, kingpin will slide in here. You notice and then it'll push up against the back here. Rotate that arm up. You notice the jaws are around there. The holes line up. Drop your pin through there. Clip it. And then you're locked into place. You're all ready to go. And again, we have this locked in the towing position, so it's closest to the cab. The cab would be where I'm standing. 
So this is in the towing position. So when you're out on the highway driving, you'd have it in this position. <clears throat> now, if you want to get it, when you pull into a campground and you want to put your uh, fifth wheel in a parking position and you have to make some tight turns, you want to be able to get that extra clearance. So to do that, what you'll do is take this handle on the slider, flip it into the unlock position, and that'll allow this to move back the 12 inches. So what will happen is you unlock it, pull forward slowly, and this will rotate to the maneuvering position, and you can see it'll lock into place. Now you've gained that 12 inches, and you've got more clearance making those tight turns. And then when you're ready to get back on the road to tow, all you have to do is the same thing. You'll just, to, you want to get it closer to the cab, so you just unlock it. And then what you'll do is back up to bring the hitch closer to the cab, and when it gets close enough, you can see that it's in the towing position now, and it automatically flips into the lock, so it's all ready to go. So it's simple as that. And then if you're going to unhook, again, just open your pin and clip, rotate your handle back. That'll allow you to remove it. And what's nice about it, there is an extra hole back here that you could take your pin and clip <clears throat> and drop it through there. And that'll hold that handle with the jaws open. So when you go to remove it, it'll just slide right out and hold the jaws open. But that should do it for the review on the B&W Companion OEM fifth wheel trailer hitch with the slider for the Chevrolet GMC towing prep package and this has a 20,000 pound weight capacity.